Hey everybody, welcome to part two of what's on the menu, Nate, for episode one. Our chicken parmesan is done, and we are just about to take it out of the oven. Now, what you will need now is once the oven is done, you'll need to have oven mitts. Open up the oven. Pull out the rack and place either oven mitt hand on the sides and take out your dish and slide it back in and close the oven but make sure you always keep your oven mitt hand oven mitts on because you don't want to burn your hands now next step just turn off the oven and just hit the off button. But if you have one of those dial uh, ovens, just twist the, uh, the temp uh, switch to off and the oven will go off. Next, you'll need to make sure you keep your oven mitts handy because you're gonna take the tin foil off and let the steam out of the dish. But you also have to be very careful to make sure that you don't get burned and get a steam burn. You see how that heavy that is? And how I'm having a oven mitt on? Make sure you have a heavy duty one, that will definitely help. Now, let's take the tin foil off, lay it off to the side, and then just check your chicken, your chicken or your country fried steaks to make sure they got good and done. In this case, yes, they are done. Let's lift them up, make sure they're good and, and soft. Just lift them up with a regular fork. And that's it. And let's see how good they turned out. Mm, doesn't that look good? Now, once you're done with your uh, chicken parmesan, all you gotta do, just take out, say your side dishes, which for this one, we have your uh, garlic bread, which we will actually go over on our next episode. And then just take the fork and just take out how many chicken or country fried steaks that you want to use and just put them on a plate which in this case we're only going to eat about two and then just get a regular knife say in this case a regular uh, steak knife or so And then all you gotta do is just cut into it. And your chicken parmesan's done. Now, depending on how big the slice is that you want. Make sure you also check to make sure the meat is good and thoroughly done, like how this is. For it to make sure no red shows up in the meat. And then just eat it and enjoy. Well, I hope y'all learned a good bit and I will look and I will be looking forward to seeing y'all next time on episode 2 on how to make garlic bread. Y'all have a good night.